Investigators say the Sunday night quadruple shooting stemmed from a dispute over a stolen cell phone. The suspected shooter, 18-year-old Tavon Kane, brought to court for the first time Tuesday to face a judge on first-degree murder charges and three counts of aggravated assault. This arrest made with without warrant. In an initial court appearance, Lieutenant Stacy Rollison testified family members brought Kane to the sheriff's office to surrender Monday afternoon. She says he initially started answering questions about the shooting that killed Corey Sims, a recent graduate of St. Aloysius High School in Vicksburg. Um, as we started getting into more specific questions about timelines and who had been with him, um, he told me that he did not want to say anything further and that he requested an attorney. Rollison described the injuries to one of the three other teens struck by a bullet. The round actually traveled through his chest but went in front of the ribcage and shattered his spine. The shooting happened at Beachwood Estates around 9.30 Sunday night where Rollison says officers found a partially destroyed iPhone and a trash can. Questions about who had the phone may have triggered the gunfire. Tragic situation to end up with one person dead, three people injured, uh, and someone charged over something that silly, but I'm afraid that's what it was. After the half-hour hearing, County Court Judge Marcy Sullivan denied bond, saying Kane should remain behind bars for his own protection and for the community's well-being. Authorities will appoint a public defender to represent Kane as he heads back to court in a few weeks for a preliminary hearing on the charges. In Warren County, Ross Adams, 16... WAPT News.